There are a lot of buffs in Destiny 2, so in this video I'll go over everything you can stack to get some crazy damage. I'll start with the most weapon buffs you can get while solo, then a way to deal 3 million damage with a single melee, then all the buffs you can stack together with a team. I'm Marshix and I make Destiny 2 guides for solo players. If you enjoy the video or find it helpful, make sure you hit like down below. I will be using every waking moment to test all the numbers for this first section. With no additional buffs, this hits for 1357 on Carl. The first buff we're using is Mantle of Battle Harmony. This will give you super energy from kills with a weapon matching your subclass. But more importantly, when your super is full, it will give you absorption cells on matching kills. This is a 20% buff that does not stack with other global buffs like Well or Bubble, but it's necessary for a few of the other things we'll be using. Next is Font of Might. This will give you a 25% stacking buff by picking up an elemental well that matches your subclass. And your weapon also has to match your subclass. These buffs, and every other buff in Destiny, stacks multiplicatively, meaning you take the 20% buff and multiply it by the 25% buff to get a 50% buff, rather than 45%. This means that even small buffs will end up adding a lot. On top of those, we can also use a debuff like Tractor Cannon to give a 30% debuff to enemies. You can use the weakened effects from Echo of Undermining and Suppressive Darkness, but those will be a 15% debuff, which is only half of Tractor Cannon. And it doesn't stop there though. You usually can't stack debuffs, but there is one debuff that's not commonly used that does stack with Tractor Cannon. Power of Rasputin. I guess it's not technically a debuff, but enemies near Warmind Cells will take more damage from anyone who has this mod equipped. This provides an additional 10% to all weapon damage, and it stacks with all global debuffs, empowering buffs, and font of might. You can even throw them at large targets too, using Grasp of the Warmind to make focusing on a boss easier. Weapon damage perks also stack with these. The highest damage perks available on weapons, with very few exceptions, are Multi-Kill Clip and Golden Tricorn. I'll be using Multi-Kill Clip for testing. This will give you a 50% damage buff from reloading after getting 3 kills. This lasts 5 seconds, and unlike normal kill clip, you don't have to wait for the perk to end to proc it a second time. Another way to increase your damage on weapons is by using minor, major, and boss specs, depending on the enemy type you're using it on. This will provide roughly a 7.7% buff against those enemies. All of that together will result in roughly 3.45 times damage, but there is one more thing we can factor in. Volatile rounds. It isn't directly a buff, but it does increase your damage pretty significantly when using void weapons. On Carl, this Volatile Explosion will always hit for 7,711 damage. And you can get this explosion to happen about 3 times per magazine when using Every Waking Moment, which results in a 65% increase over a full 26 round magazine. This effectively boosts the damage of each bullet to over 4 times what it normally does. You can get Volatile Rounds from grenade kills using Echo of Instability, or from Volatile Flow by picking up a Void Elemental Well. One interesting thing I found while making this video is that one weapon in particular can use all of the before mentioned buffs and has two damage perks at once. This is the Kindled Orchid. This has Rampage and Kill Clip, so you can replace Multi Kill Clip's 50% buff with the 75% buff that Rampage and Kill Clip collectively provide. With this, the total multiplier goes up to 4.08 times. And it's void, so it does work with Volatile Rounds. Factoring in Volatile Rounds, it procs every three shots so it's effectively 66% more damage. The downside to this though is that it's sunset, so you can't infuse it up to the current level, and its drop source was removed from the game over a year ago. So to get all of this to work in practice is a little difficult, since you'll need to have a full super, shoot tractor cannon, spawn a warmind cell, pick up an elemental well, get three kills, reload, then you only have like five seconds to deal damage. That's just not gonna come up most of the time. But even just a few of these at once can make a huge difference. A more practical build that takes advantage of a lot of these mods will involve Font of Might, Volatile Rounds, a way to spawn Elemental Wells, Elemental Charge, and Argent Ordnance in place of Battle Harmony. One Argent Ordnance will give the same 20% buff that Battle Harmony gives, except only for rocket launchers. And it's easier to use. The rocket launcher we're using is Red Herring. I showed this off in one of my previous videos, and it's actually insane. You can craft this with Adrenaline Junkie to give a 33% damage buff just by getting a grenade kill. I also have mine with Ambitious Assassin to give me two rockets after a single kill. One rocket on Carl deals 88,000 damage with no buffs, then with all of the buffs, it will hit for 198,000, or about 2.24 times damage. It's not even hard to set up. With Elemental Ordnance, all you need to do is get a grenade kill to spawn an Elemental Well, and activate Adrenaline Junkie, then grab the Elemental Well to get Font, Argent, and volatile rounds, then shoot a rocket for over double damage. 
Or if you have Ambitious Assassin, two rockets. Now, as promised, here's everything you can stack with melees to get much higher damage, up to 3 million per melee as a solo player. But if you're finding any of this helpful, or at least interesting, hit the like button. And I don't really like to ask for subscriptions, but we are close to 100k. To start, we need to have Offensive Bulwark. This will give you double damage on your melee while you have an overshield. Looking at the base damage of the Shield Bash, we get two numbers for a total of 39,000 damage. With an overshield, this goes up to 78,000. Then you can stack it with 1-2 Punch for an additional 3 times damage. To be able to use this with Shield Bash, you need to run, then slide and shoot your 1-2 Punch shotgun while you're in motion, then activate your melee. You can also pair all of this with Worm God Caress to further increase your melee damage. And this is where things start to get crazy. Each melee kill will give you a stack of Burning Fists for 5 seconds and stacks up to 5 times. With max stacks, you get 7.5 times damage on top of the other buffs. Other exotic armor can buff your damage too, but this is the highest of all of them. Well of Ions also increases the damage of your melee by an additional 30% after picking up an Arc Elemental Well. Overcharge Wellmaker does a good job of spawning those Elemental Wells. It only affects your next melee, so you ought to get your Worm God stacks before picking up the Well. All of these buffs together results in roughly a 76 times multiplier, or just under 3 million damage. And that's just from one melee. I know it says a million, but it's actually way higher than that. The game just can't visualize anything above a million. This whole combo takes a good bit of setting up to do, but you'll be one-shotting basically everything in the game. I know Air had a higher multiplier in one of his videos, but Bungie removed the buff against frozen targets. And let's be honest, do you really need more than 3 million damage? He also made an easy to use build for high damage melees using Heart of Inmost Light instead of Worm Gods, so I'll link that in the description. Okay, now ignoring melees, what's the highest damage multiplier when you have a full team? You can have Banner Shield for a 40% buff to everyone standing behind the shield. Then you can have Font of Might, a debuff from Tractor Cannon, Tether, or Divinity, Power of Rasputin, a damage perk on your weapon, a weapon spec, and finally Volatile Rounds for that set explosion damage with Void Weapons. Assuming you're using a 50% weapon perk, this all comes together to be a 4x multiplier with Volatile Rounds on top of that. Like I said before, getting all of these buffs at once is not going to be easy, but even just a few of these will go a long way. Just pick a few of these to build around and you'll be just fine. You could even build around one of my favorite exotics, the Traveler's Chosen, because Bungie just made this exotic amazing. Click on the video to learn more. Thanks for watching, I'm Marshix, and I'll see you next time.